Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for tuning in, pulling up with us, yeah. and uh, most importantly, just supporting the channel. Now, we really got to dig into this one today regarding Candace Owens and her response to BLM reacting to her documentary. Okay. Which I, was actually and I knew, really interesting. I yeah, actually went and checked that was. out, y'all. Yeah. I watched the whole thing, and I thought there was some very intriguing information in there. It definitely did. gave me a... A different outlook, a different insight on, you know, other people's perspective on that whole situation, as well as George Floyd. So it was really good. Yeah. And I took it into too as well, just regarding the research uh, that she did and how she kind of like really delved into it. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it was very enjoyable just to be able to watch it, just to kind of like take in the information that she was really yeah. able to get. Because it's been like, it's been, it been a few months. At least about like four or five months that we've been waiting on it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it did take a little while because I actually went looking for. I actually went looking for back. it when it came back. Yeah. yeah, and I was I was quite surprised it actually took as long as it did for it to come out. But I'm telling you, you know, it takes time to put that kind of stuff together because especially when you come in with stuff like that, you got to come with information. You got to have some facts over feelings, some emotions, some. Some real, real. Okay? That was another thing too. I wanted to see how well she like crossed her T's, you know, dotted her eyes and things like that too. Yeah. So yeah, we about to check out this video, just about BLM reacting to her documentary. Okay. And I knew that this was gonna be coming down the pipeline at some point. Oh, I knew that wait, was gonna so be a response. So they reacted to her. That was, that was a response, <laughs> right? And I, and 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 again, you know, with Candace's perfect fashion, she yeah. she always she she's always gonna use her platform. Um, you know, to use her freedom of speech. Okay. Let me make sure. You check everything, make sure it was working? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let's jump into this video. All right. Let's check it out. Here we go. All right, guys. It's time for some questions. First up, Candace, what is your response to Black Lives Matter's tweets about your documentary? Here are the tweets. They read, today or someday soon, Candace Owens will release a purported documentary that will attempt to further divide black people and uplift white supremacy. We will continue investing our community to turn the moral tide of the world against policing, jails, prisons, and violence. We will continue to ensure the narratives around the globe are as abolitionist and black as possible. Abolitionist. We will continue to create structures that allow for the fullness of black joy to be experienced. I love that. So much. I mean, and this just is exactly what I wanted. I put pressure on them. They gave a statement. What the statement actually worked to do was to fire people even more up about the documentary because they realized that BLM was scared, that Patrice is in hiding. She's deleted all of her socials. They're coming out to preempt people. Wait, did she? She just brought that up. I don't know. She deleted never, all her socials? I've never followed her on social media. Oh. So if anybody knows, I mean, Candace, obviously she knows. She would know. So. Hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know that. But why would you delete your socials, though? Right. I don't know. Okay. It's a little weird. We don't care what Candace says in this so-called documentary. We're still going to do what we do best, which is scam people, which my documentary proved. It has nothing to do with black America at all. We were just their plot line so they could line their own pockets and so they could ruin black American communities. And every single person that watches the documentary will understand that. So please, Black Lives Matter, feel free to continue the free promotion of this amazing documentary. Um, I love it. I love it. It is exactly, as I said, what we were seeking to accomplish. Next question. Do you talk much about your Caribbean roots? We know about your grandfather being an amazing man working as a sharecropper. What about your island family? Care to share? Do you visit them often? Actually, the last trip that my grandfather and I did when he was alive was last year, and the entire family went to St. Thomas, and we rented a house and got to spend that last time with him. Um, I do talk a lot about my Caribbean roots. I guess I could talk more about it. I definitely spoke about it in my book because my grandparents had such an amazing impact on my life. Uh, my grandmother is from St. Thomas, and in fact, it's so funny that people are so stupid that online one of the themes against me is Candace isn't even black American. She's from the Caribbean. It's like, no, I have one grandparent that is from the Caribbean, and I have one grandparent that's from a sharecropping farm in the South. So it's just utterly stupid to suggest that I'm not black mm. American when I am American. I was born in this country. Um, but yeah, I actually, and this is a fact, uh, Caribbean Americans are a more successful group of people. So I think 
that it, it must be my Caribbean roots that com compels me not to accept narratives that are given to me uh, by the media. I, I really do believe that there's something about Caribbeans that were less inclined to believe a lot of the lies. And that's also true of Africans, African, true African-Americans, not black Americans, but African-Americans. When we have immigrants, they're an incredibly successful group. Caribbean Americans and true African-Americans are successful when they come here. And that is because maybe we just perceive this to be a land of opportunity and we don't allow these oppression narratives to work on us. So I have a lot of Caribbean pride. And I also think Brianna's a vibe. I just wanted to say that. I think Nicki Minaj is a vibe. <laughs> And just wanted to say that. Caribbean girls unite. It's Next, can you please elaborate on why you do she not said, use... She said it's a vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, personally, I've never, I never, I've never really heard her talk about much about her Caribbean roots. No. So that is very interesting that she does have a, you know, a grandparent that was, that was born and bred in the Caribbean. Yeah. And then also has another uh, grandparent... You know, that actually was a sharecropper in the South. Yeah. I didn't I, know that didn't, about her. I didn't either. For some reason, I feel like I've read before that Candace Owens was um, had some type of Caribbean d descent, but I didn't know to what extent or what degree. I've never really gotten, gotten into it, but I've never heard her talk about it either. Oh. So. Yeah. I've, I've never, I, I never heard her touch on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mac products. What products of Mac did you use and what did they do? I use Mac and I have found it burns my face. Looking for alternatives. Love you. From your biggest fan in Australia, Brie. I should elaborate on this. In fact, I should probably elaborate on this in front of the paywall because you know how girls are with their skin. And it is very important that we share the truth about products that are burning our skin. It was specifically the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It gave me cystic acne. And then when it gave me cystic acne, I didn't know what it was. And actually, my assistant at the time was like, she picked it up out of my thing after months of me like being so frustrated about the cystic acne. She said, you're not using this, are you? And I said, yeah, I am. And she said, this is known to give you cystic acne. And then I went on YouTube and I found so many other people talking about how their studio fix fluid had given them all of these breakouts. So I was horrified. I stopped using it and my acne corrected within a few months. Uh, but it is the devil. MAC Studio Fix Fluid is a devil. I honestly yeah. should do product reviews on my Instagram in the way that she Bethany the Frankel bottle. is doing hers, where she just uses products and is like, this is horrible, this is great. Because people need to know, because marketing in general can be such a lie, okay. and people just want to make a quick buck. But when it comes to Never your skin, that. it is a sin to be lied to. Like, it really is. Like, people that lie about skin products and force people to buy them or encourage people to buy it and then it inspires like acne like cystic acne hey. there's a special place in hell for people like that that's good oh, to know because geez, at one point i actually <laughs> used the studio <laughs> fix <laughs> studio fix makeup i stopped using it yeah like i don't know why i stopped using it but i just stopped using it i didn't know hey i didn't know that Shoot, I'm glad that she came out and said that. Bad. Okay, because if you start walking around here with sister acne, I'm looking at you like, what kind of makeup are you using? Bad. I'm going to be like, yeah, whatever skincare products you're using, you need to change it up, do something different. Whatever. Change up your night routine or something. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Cystic like acne? acne, like cystic acne. There's a special yeah. place in health for people like that. What I use on my skin today, um, I do like NARS products, so that's what I use on my personal, like when I'm traveling. Me too. Uh, when I get my makeup done by my makeup artist, she actually just this week started using Lady Gaga's new brand. I don't even know what it's called, but it works really well on my skin. I haven't had a breakout, so that's what I will share with you. I could talk about beauty products all day, but I know that there's a lot of men that are watching this that could not be less interested, so I'm going to stop right there. Thank you for joining me today. Come back tomorrow for an all-new episode. That was me. I will see you then. <laughs> Hey, I got something you know, out of that's that. Your, that's, that's your <laughs> arena in regards to the Mac Fix Fluid. Is, is the Fix Fluid is that like the set on spray? No, babe. That's not the set on spray. No, she's talking about actual foundation okay. makeup. Maybe foundation. she might be. I hope she's not talking about that either, because I was using that at one point. So too. is that the concealer too? No, babe. Okay. Oh god. No, it's not. Okay. Just stop. like I, like she said <laughs> in regards to the man that's super disinterested. In, in, in that part, that was me. The only part that, that I really took from it that I really was concerned was in regards to like cystic acne and glad that she was able like to, to, to identify <laughs> to, clarify, to clarify identify that. what product was causing <laughs> that and, and she was able to rectify it, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just regarding like BLM, I knew that they would come out and like make a response in regards to Candace Owens' they better have. documentary. Shh. But, you know, my, my, my same thing again, you know, when Black Lives Matter came out and everybody saw the T-shirts, like... I always feel like nobody should be offended just regarding the t-shirt because in all in, in all honesty, like Black Lives Matter, all they were trying to do is bring awareness to 
black lives that they're not saying that any other any anybody else's lives don't matter as much as black lives but you know a, as a community they're just trying to bring awareness because of things that they feel is happening happening to to us yeah uh but the bad part about it is when they took it corporate and then they made this big movement with BLM and yeah. then they didn't like really uphold you know to the principles and the values the morals that that, that it should stand for when Initially. you when, when you're really leading like a, a charge when you're yeah. really leading a movement like that especially and, and being that it was you know it's i think i still believe that it started out that way the intentions of it behind it and and when they started the group was for it to be exactly that mm -hmm. and it didn't turn out that way or it was supposed to be exactly that and money started coming in so fast it was like oh you know what i mean yeah, you start thinking different but but that be the all, thing. Of, all of that money okay? money is the root of all evil yeah. so it doesn't matter like who you That's are what, what corporation you are it, it yeah. can it can it, it can stain a movement yeah. and i feel like with black lives matter it, it stained that part of of their movement it, i mean it, when she came out in a documentary and she said like all these dollars like thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars were sent to like escorts yep. and things like that i was like whoa and like it just, it, it just blew my mind just regarding like the money that was spent on like countless things that that had nothing to do with actual Black Lives Matter <laughs> or, or or you know really going out and doing like the social work like you saw where they were like donating money but they really couldn't account for right. who they were giving it to oh they showed you know oh what the benefit of it was when you got you know? eight hundred thousand dollars nine hundred thousand dollars to pay to your baby daddy right. or something like mm -hmm. y'all the documentary it, it it really went into detail just Woo! regarding like the financials and I feel like that was very important. For her to shed light on that at the end of the day. Y'all I really you. do. If y'all haven't already, y'all got to go and check out the documentary. I know a lot. there's going to be a lot of uh, opinions about it and probably a lot of frustration behind watching it, you know, if I'm being completely honest. But there it, was, it a, was, lot it was a lot of frustration with me. There was a for lot of me, information for sure. in it. Yeah. But especially in pertaining into the, the, the BLM and, and their expenses and stuff like that in terms of like their accounting. If anybody gets into that kind of stuff and you start seeing the break out of that, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit you a little different. Yeah, red flag. It's Especially you when, you, when, when you're a person that, that really, you know, championed them early on right. and, and wanted them to do well. And, and then when you see these things, it's like, no, please don't tell me that they did that. Yep. No, don't show me that. I don't want to know. And then you see it for what it is and you're like, damn. Like, yeah. That really happened. Yeah. It really happened like that. Yeah. So, y'all let it, us know. It disappointed me. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. And if you checked out the documentary, you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about uh, in, in pertaining to BLM. So, y'all let us know what y'all think. Um, and if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash Definitely. the notification bell. Join this family, y'all. If ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace and blessings. Yeah. Bye.